In today's video, we will talk about how to check Ethereum gas fees before you purchase an NFT, for example, from platforms like OpenSea or any other, or if you want to send Ethereum from an exchange like Binance or Crypto.com. And if you have already done that, you know that for every transaction, we pay gas fees. So the question is what to do when the Ethereum gas fees are too high and what is the Ethereum gas fee solution? Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well and in this video I will talk about how to check the Ethereum gas fees because this is very important if you are buying NFTs, if you are sending Ethereum from one wallet to another or simply said if you are doing any transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. No matter if you are doing it on an NFT platform or you are just sending Ethereum from an exchange or from wallet to someone else you are paying those gas fees that we've already mentioned so how to check them and what i found as a solution for the ethereum gas fees i will share that with you in that video so the ethereum gas fees could really increase and quite often it happens that people are buying nfts but they pay more gas fees than the price of the nft itself Okay, and on the other side, if you are selling NFTs, still you are paying NFTs if you accept the offer or if you are listing your NFT for a first time. And especially if you are selling it on a cheap price and you hit a period when the Ethereum gas fees are too high, then it could turn that you are actually losing Ethereum instead of profiting. So one of the Ethereum gas fee solutions that I found is that website called ethereumprice.org slash gas where we can see the gas price for the last one week. And you can see those peaks that usually happen when there is an expected release from an artist and many people are trying to buy the NFTs in the first minutes so the gas price increases significantly. Alright, so before you are purchasing an NFT or before you are accepting an offer or on the other side if you are the seller, before you accept the offer you may want to check out this website and see where is the gas price currently. And right over here you can see that the gas price is in GWEI. This is GigaWay and one GigaWay is one trillion of the price of the Ethereum. But to make that clear, I will go to the gas and fees section in the ethereum.org developers guides and you will see that each gigaway is equal to 0 0.000000001 of Ethereum, okay? Or in other words, this is one trillion of the price of the Ethereum. So instead of saying my gas fee was 0 0.0000 so many times one of Ethereum, you can say that it was one gigaway. And actually below we can see that one gigaway on the other side is equal to one trillion away. And this is the smallest unit of the Ethereum. Okay, and there is a lot of information right over here prior to the London upgrade, which happened recently. And after the London upgrade, what was the difference? And I'm not going into details over here. I just want to bring your attention right at this section, the block size. So it says that before the London upgrade, Ethereum had fixed size blocks. And then when there was a huge demand, those blocks operated at total capacity, right? But after the London upgrade, each block has target size of 15 million gas, but the size of blocks will increase or decrease in accordance with network demand up until the block limit of 30 million gas. And it's a lot more to read for me. It is really interesting to know what is the change on the Ethereum with every upgrade. But what's interesting as well is that we have the maximum fee. 
So to execute a transaction on the network, the users can specify a maximum amount or a maximum fee that is known as max fee per gas. And visually we should be refunded with the difference between the maximum fee we allowed and uh, the actual fee that we were charged. Now I'm really not sure yet if all platforms for NFTs and exchanges already apply that. But one more time I just wanted to show you right here that uh, one gig away is one trillion of the Ethereum, okay? So this is the unit we use when we are looking at the gas price. Okay, so the first tip here on what to do when the gas fees are too high, simply you can try the transaction a little bit later. Okay, so for example, if you are on OpenSea and you want to buy NFT, for example, I will click on that one, okay, Crypto Hamster Girl, and it has the current price of 0.02, of Ethereum or approximately $75. Before I click on the buy now, I'm pretty sure that the gas fee will be more than the price of the NFT itself. Let's check this out. I will accept the terms and conditions. I will check out and let's see what we will have as a gas fee. OpenSea suggested gas fee is 0.0657 of Ethereum or this is about $250, right? And this changes all the time. So you can see that the Ethereum gas fees could be too high when you are buying a cheap NFT, okay? $75 for the NFT itself and nearly $250 for a gas fee. And here it is, $185, it just updated. Okay, so you see I'm doing nothing at this moment. I'm just recording the video, but the gas fees, they change. And you can see right now, we are in this moment where the gas fee increases, but we saw that at the current moment, it actually decreased. Okay, so what's the solution here? Just do not rush. If I really wanted to buy the NFT and I jumped straight away, I would have paid $250 and right now it's about $185, which is $75 less, okay, for gas fees. So just stay a little bit longer on the checkout page and grab the opportunity when the gas fees are lower. So this is the first thing to check the Ethereum gas fees when you are buying first before you purchase or before you accept an offer if you are the seller. Check out this Ethereum gas price chart. Uh, the second thing is the time of the day. So the brighter it is, it means the price is lower. And usually on the weekend, here is Sunday and here is Saturday, you can see that the gas fees are lower. And on Monday at 12 a.m. and 11 p.m. at the end of the day, the gas fees increase significantly. And I don't think it's because of the NFT market, but because usually on Monday morning, and I consider Monday morning when the stock exchanges open in uh, Tokyo, in China, and there are a lot of Ethereum transactions that usually happen on Monday morning there, or this would be actually Sunday evening in the United States. But keep in mind as well that here we have the GMT plus three. Okay, so it depends where you are located. If you are looking at this gas price by time of day, make sure to check what is your local time zone. And below you will find some more information about the gas fees that is very useful. I'm not going through it except to this sentence that I want to point out. The amount of gas required for each transaction depends on the complexity of the transaction. Okay, so buying one NFT is totally different from sending one Ethereum from one wallet to another. And on the Ethereum blockchain happen so many transactions and keep in mind that the developers are always trying to improve the Ethereum gas and we really hope that in the future the gas fees will lower and they have to lower. Many people stay away from the NFT world 
because of the high Ethereum gas fees. And I can assure that a lot of people are looking for solutions. I'm sure there will be more solutions. But for the current moment, these are three simple things you can do. First, when you buy an NFT, make sure to stay a little bit longer on the checkout page. And as you saw, the gas fee changes automatically. Second, you can check if you're not hitting such a moment where a lot of people are trying to buy NFTs and there are a lot of transactions on the blockchain Ethereum, so the gas price is really high. And third, you can check out on which day during the week, at what time you are doing the transaction and try to do it and those hours where you see average gas price somewhere between 50 and 70 gig away. All right, guys, I really hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions about why the Ethereum gas fees are too high or if you have any other solutions to lower Ethereum gas fees, I'll be super happy to see them in the comments below. If you have found the video useful, don't hesitate to smash the like button. I'll be super happy if you support the channel. Subscribe as well and this way you won't miss any future videos about the NFT world. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon guys. Cheers!